sorry. This <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> something I didn't know. Okay. Here, we go. here we go. Good morning, Kevin here. And where am I today? I've got well, I've got no idea. Where are we? Chidham. Chidham. Yeah. Chidham. <laughs> Kevin's Rambles Walk. There's only five of us, but I don't care. Over here, we've got Cynthia and Laura. Hello. We've got Steve oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. my son. <laughs> well, I've here. just found out he's my son. No, he's not. It's Ian. Ian's here. So we're doing the Chidham Peninsula Peninsula. Walk. And well, we'll see what we're gonna find. But we've got to go out that way, so Steve tells. Yep. But we just we just Ian Ian brought us up here. He was the first one to come up. Look at this view. Isn't that lovely? As I pan round, over in the distance is Goodwood, which I spotted just now, all on my own. And this field in front of us, broad beans. These are Laura's favourite. Wrong. <laughs> As we found out, Laura doesn't like them. And I have to say, nor do I. Let's go this way, shall we? I'll let you guys go forward first. Forward and first. Forward and fast. Yep. And then we're going to head out into the car park and up onto the far end of the car park. It's not a very big car park here, but that's great. We've all managed to get parking spaces. And it, yes, and it's free. But we've got big steps to go down first. So we're heading up this way. Look out for the path to return to the car park. You've got to remember this path back. That one, or that one? No, this one. So we've just come down to the shoreline now, and the tide's out. This is beautiful. Look at that. Wow, what a lovely view. And Laura's found a little bench there to sit on, just to have a look out on the view. Well, as you can see, that's where we've walked from. And we've got the estuary, perhaps. And as I said earlier, the tide is out. I'm trying not to tilt the camera up too far because that's directly into the sun. And that's where the other guys are. But just here to our right hand side, look at these little lagoons. Really pretty, all lovely set out around here. And I've, like, way in the distance, just over there, there's a, a mallard, but I saw a um, an egret take off just a minute ago. We've got all this. Uh, sailing boats up here all their masts are, you know sails aren't up now obviously but this is rather pretty ian what did you call these mallow, mallow. Yeah. and you said there was a yellow one that's just yellow. now that's just what the size oh it's those ones there yeah, that's, that's hawk weed or hawk bit hawk weed or hawk, hawk bit, bit. Yeah. and what's this one here it's a field bean type thing, I think you'll find. A field bean. It's like a bean. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it sounds to me as if not only is, a, is Cynthia an expert on wildflowers, we've got Ian as well, and that's really useful. Now, Ian's saying no, but he's, he, gave, he, he gave me those, those names very confidently. Oh, look at this. I'm sure that's not... That's not a bean. I was good. Oh, do you know what? What's, what is a laburnum doing at the side of this lagoon? Look at that. I bet she hasn't. Well, we've just come along here now, and I'm, we've got to turn inland. I just wanted to walk up here and show you this bit here. It's obviously some sort of a clubhouse, I should think. Yacht club, perhaps? What's this say? Oh, Christian Youth Enterprises Activity Centre. I'm being attacked by something. But there we are, look. So we've got to turn inland. Got to go around here. Down through here. Down through this way. Got this rather lovely country lane here. 
And now we've got to go up this way, cross this little bridge, and we've got we've got hawthorn hedges all the way along here. And we've got some quite young oak trees just here in front. We've got a very manicured lawn just here, but it looks like a bit of a car park a bit further up. But this is just, we were all saying just now that with all the, the Kevin's Rambles walks that we've done, we've only had to cancel one because of the weather. Um, th this particular walk was postponed. It was around about the time that I had COVID and Sydney had COVID. I think Laura had a bad back. Um, so we postponed that one, and, but we're making up for it now. And the weather is just brilliant. We've got beautiful blue skies. Let me show you this, look. Hardly a cloud in the sky. So we're very fortunate. We're back onto this, and this is purposely put in place. This is a wheelchair access path, which is fantastic to get, to enable the wheelchair bound people of our community out here walk, uh, enjoying the, I know they said walking, but they wouldn't be with they, stupid person. But just over here, let me just hold it up a bit. We've got an egret on a nest just there in that little little island in amongst those those reeds amazing these little lagoons keep popping up as we walk along and we think the tides turn now it's just coming in but there are we've got to be careful because we, there is a point where we wouldn't be able to walk once the tides fully in so we've got to be aware of that but that's not until I think early early evening 6 p.m. 5 p.m. something like that Cynthia and I are on the beach but Cynthia is very worried because the, the rock formation which is protecting the shoreline is getting steeper as we go along but what fascinates me is the way some of these rocks have been shaped by the waves Just over here to our left hand side, looks like some sort of sailing school in their little dinghies. This is just beautiful. Just in front of us, there's uh, an old breakwater and there's not a lot of it left. Just here, let me just show you. Along here, this is an old breakwater going through there and there's a little Mr and Mrs Mallard just there further up the beach there's a break wall which is slightly more intact but uh, very worn obviously by the waves and the wind but we've got to get up here we've got these incredible trees along here it's alright no it's alright carry on this dead old tree and then just here they've got these wonderful oak trees that are growing out of the bank down onto the shoreline very very reminiscent of um, uh, walking away from Chichester Harbour or very near to Chichester Harbour well I didn't think we were going to get up to this other breakwater but if you look at it, you can, oh, oh, unless it is, now then, could this be not breakwater, but the old hull of an old ship? Is that a possibility? We've just come along this footpath and we've walked all the way along the shoreline, which was lovely. And we've now got to this point, there. So this is Codner Shore, Foreshore. Let's get a close up of that one. Of course, you've got the different birds 
which I think we've seen that one, which is an oyster catcher, and that must be Chichester Harbour, I think. There, yep. So that's lovely. Walking along this way, we've got to keep going along here. Well, we're still walking. The others is just behind me, and we're heading along this footpath here. The, um, the estuary is away to our left-hand side. But I think down round here somewhere, Steve said we've got to start turning inland. Um, but I'm not sure, but you can see just here, in front of me, all the way along here, we've got these big boulders, which again is, is to um, break the waves and sea coming in, because this land must just get flooded away to my left. Steve's just given us the, the direction we've got to go and we've got this beautiful thatched cottage here 1732 it says on the plaque and on the top of the roof we've got a pheasant and there's always the obligatory vehicle coming along when you get onto these lanes but isn't that lovely flint built with, with brick charming little cottage roses in the garden lilac in the garden beautiful that is lovely well, we're still walking and we're now back with a, um, oh crikey, there's me telling everybody else to be careful. But here to our left hand side, we've got Bosom Harbour and we've got the church in the distance and thankfully the tide is still out. But then we're coming onto this footpath here where Cynthia's leading the way. But we have just passed some one or two lovely thatched uh, houses or cottages but one very very sad looking house the whole house needs to be either knocked down and rebuilt or um re refurbished because its views were right onto the estuary so it's uh, you'd need a lot of money to do it but the car in the drive pretty much a brand new Tesla by the looks of it so they're not hard up so we got, we're still walking along oh there's my phone going off but this is a lovely look at this look at these views here look. isn't that stunning more of what we saw earlier on of the um, yachts moored up in the estuary Come out from behind here, there is a, another view there, look. I'll give you another view across to the church and Bosom Harbour. Harbour. Looks like there's a lot of people away in the distance there. Beautiful. Well, we've completed our walk. We have Bosom Harbour back down there. So we're heading back to the car now, which is up that way, or cars. So we've had a lovely walk today. It's been brilliant, lovely weather, been very lucky. So we're gonna head off to the pub. Anyway, Kevin, so, sorry, start that bit again. Kevin, Cynthia, Laura, Steve, and Ian, and we'll be saying cheerio, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye. 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 <laughs> Hello, my name's Andrew Norris, and I'm standing in a wood in Croatia. If, like me, you've just enjoyed watching Kevin's latest video, do give him a thumbs up. And if you haven't, consider subscribing. In that way, you'll be kept informed of every new video that Kevin uploads. Thank you.